Okay, welcome back again. You got Luke and myself, John. Um, mate, the next question. Yep. It's actually come from Bendigo, so right. your old neck of the woods. Stomping mm -hmm. ground. Yep. Mm -hmm. Is what is the difference between a turbo heat system and an air transfer system? Yeah, excellent question, John. It's one that's very uh, commonly asked. Um, out there in the market, a lot of people know about an air transfer kit, um, but they don't know a whole lot about our turbo heat system. So the question for them is, what is the difference? Um, generally it comes down to price. There's a massive price difference, but we'll talk about that later in, the, in our videos. But basically, John, the way an air transfer kit works is they draw air from the ceiling above the wood heater, um, so it's not attached to the wood heater in any way. So they're just relying on the heated air and they're pumping it to only two, three outlets within six meters from the actual inlet. So they've got a lot of restriction, but also too, they're relying on not a lot of heat. So um, the main thing, the main difference between our system and an air transfer kit is we are actually sucking in air through our return air here just above the heater. It is going up between this black outer skin and the skin of the active flue pipe, which is extremely hot because there's a fire going. That radiant heat heats up the air, being sucked up, heated up, and then transferred to all the bedrooms, um, anywhere you need it in the house. We don't have many limitations on how far it needs to go or how hot it can be because we're actually heating the air up because we're attached to the wood fire itself. Yeah. So we've got a natural heat source mm. that heats air and the air transfer doesn't. That's right. It's only taking a proportion yeah. of heat yeah. and putting it into another part of the room. That's right. Now the big difference between the two in terms of cost is the reason being we actually have to attach to the wood fire. So our system needs to be 100% safe. Um, it needs to, needs to work as well. So we make sure in every bit of, every material, every bit of product we use in our system, it will withstand heat and it will work for you in your home. Well, thanks, Luke.